this dark entity emerged from within the X-Men's greatest foe. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we will explore the comic book origins of Onslaught. As with most comic book characters, there are often reimaginings and different versions to a character's past. We've chosen to primarily follow the storyline which unfolded in 1995's Uncanny X-Men number 322, which was expanded upon in 1996's X-Men number 15, X-Men 53, and Wolverine number 104. The character was first mentioned by name when the X-Men investigated why the Juggernaut had crash-landed in New Jersey, having apparently been thrown across the country by a far more powerful foe. After a violent and confusing confrontation, Juggernaut revealed the name of his aggressor, Onslaught. Following this, a shadowy menace attacked the mutant Sebastian Shaw and his telepathic colleague. Hidden from sight, the menace explained that he had come to enlist their servitude and offered them a chance to join his cause in exchange for power beyond their dreams. The full scope of the danger ahead was only revealed when Jean Grey was pulled into the astral plane by the new threat. There, the villain was revealed to wear a similar, albeit more robust version of Magneto's armor. Telling her that they had much to discuss, he explained that the days of human mutant conflict would soon come to an end, and that he would need her assistance to ensure the dominance of Homo Superior. When Jean Grey told him that she fights for a brighter tomorrow, Onslaught mocked her willingness to follow Professor Xavier's dream. Journeying together through the dreamlike astral plane, Jean's questioning angered the being, who became frustrated with her insolence. As a result, he decided to show her the extent of human hypocrisy, taking her to Graydon Creed's presidential campaign headquarters, which based its run on an anti-mutant platform. Overhearing the candidate mention a plan to arrest all mutants when elected, Onslaught proclaimed that the X-Men dream of harmony can never come to pass. As a telepath, Jean Grey admitted to already knowing this truth, and that she finds solace in surrounding herself with her friends. Responding, Onslaught took her to spy on Professor X. With Jean Grey becoming very skeptical, Onslaught pushed her into the Professor's mind. While Jean made the case that she knew the Professor since childhood and that they shared a bond as the world's most powerful telepaths, Onslaught decided to cast doubts on her trust in Xavier as her father figure. He showed her that Xavier was actually in love with her, despite their father-daughter relationship. While Jean voiced denial, Onslaught told her that Xavier had built up his image as a saint by burying all of his negative emotions, which consisted of fear, rage, passion, prejudice, and anger. Drowning in the negative energy that Onslaught called the true Xavier, Jean pleaded to know who the mysterious force really was. In response, Onslaught proclaimed that he was a being free of the hypocrisy surrounding everyone else, and that he is raw power unleashed. Making the pitch for her to give in and admit how much she enjoyed her Dark Phoenix powers, he asked her to join him, claiming to be the one truth in a world of lies. Refusing the offer, Onslaught told her that he is a great and terrible force beyond her comprehension, and that he was an angry and vengeful god to those who disobeyed him. With that, Jean was transported back to Earth. Onslaught's origin was soon revealed as the psychic creation of Professor Xavier, a man whose frail body and hidden secrets merged with the ambition of Magneto, all to create the amalgamated evil entity bent on enslaving the world. This was shown to have occurred at a time when Magneto had ripped the adamantium out of Wolverine's body. This prompted Xavier, clad in a mobility suit, to use his telepathic powers to temporarily wipe Magneto's mind when he was caught without his protective helmet. While Magneto did get temporary amnesia, Xavier's attack on Magneto's essence unleashed a manifestation of Magneto's dark ego upon the astral realm, which merged with Xavier's psychic avatar to create Onslaught. A menace of pure psionic energy, and created from elements of both mutant leaders, the X-Men soon joined forces with a range of other Marvel heroes to save the Earth from this new terrible threat. Though the Supreme Being has re-emerged several times and in evolving forms, Onslaught is still best known for being more powerful than the sum of its parts, even surpassing Omega levels of energy. While he hasn't appeared in the cartoons or films as of yet, he did emerge as a playable character in the Marvel vs. Capcom series. No one is safe. Are you a fan of this amalgamation from both sides of the X-Men conflict? For more entertaining comic book origins, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.